uh, my question is, how are you going to make sure that students uh, get the information that was presented by the other student in the group? You know, they all had one group per table had the information. Uh, how are you going to make sure that uh, 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 Liz's group gets the information on Koja that was presented? Well, or how, how could you, or, or are you confident that they got it, or talk, talk me through, through that. In the future, if I'll press with more times what I would have done is a debrief. Is a debrief on it go over and try to get it into a narrative where each person, each group kind of broke down. Um, and maybe just kind of do a debriefing like, like I've done in the past with these activities. Um, call on students, uh, discuss it. If I have the same amount of time, I'm going to cut the matching game activity in that way because I'd rather be sure that they got this information. Um, I, I think that that's important for the matching, but I, I I didn't see that until I already started. Tomorrow, what can you do when they come in to make sure that they've gotten this information? Something real simple that doesn't require you to do a lot of work or doesn't require them to do a lot of work so you're not then behind. But it's something real simple that you can do. You can start out with a just do it activity. Yeah. Um, maybe have them create a crossword puzzle or something like that based on the questions. Or it would have been nice just to have a real simple handout for them. The information that everybody else has got, and they they now have the information that you wanted everybody else. I mean, that's probably what I would have done is after the activity, I would have had a handout to give them that covered the questions. 